This is the Cardano one month overview reading for October 2022. It's currently September 22nd, 2022, 8.36 p.m. Eastern Time. So the overall theme and behavior for the month of October, guys, there's a important trough or important bottom um, on, a, on a year, let's say on a year to date chart or a multi month chart. Um, it's, it's marked by a decline that offers an opportunity to open up a long position. Um, and it's crossed with sideways rotation along a key support level. Um, we may rise, uh, rise slightly off of it for a little bit and then come back down and continue to use it. Um, but there's a notable decline that offers an opportunity to open up a long position here. Um, when I when I look at Cardano on my like my pro, my prognosis tracker, I look at the ten years and whatnot. Um, ADA. Um, it's a it's a buy in 2022 and a sell in 2027. Um, and in 2022, it looks like it's a buy in October. Um, so what I'll be doing is purchasing ADA Cardano um, at some of the lows here. And I'm looking I'm cross referencing it with the with the Bitcoin reading and finding quite a lot of congruencies. What's really interesting is both the Bitcoin reading and, and ADA both have the star card here. Um, something very unexpected, unlikely, unprobable takes place here. Okay, so uh, behavior around the high, there's an agreement or a merger of, uh, agreement between two leaders or a merger of some kind that's <coughs> highlighted near the highs. Usually that with that card, there's like a move higher followed by a full retracement or there's a holding pattern followed by a big move in one direction. So we should see that type of behavior around the high, one of those things. Um, behavior around the low, we have a, a notable move on a one month chart. This will really stand out a big move higher out of the low um, from being uh, oversold or to, f to fill a previous gap down. Um, okay, so it looks like we we start the month falling off of a crest or a high and we have a minor trough at the end of the day on the first or uh, somewhere on like the, the end of the day on the truck and somewhere somewhere around the first or the second. Um, it looks like that we we there's the end on, on the first there's the end of a rally that's marked by a decline through a key support level on a one, one month chart. On the second we have uh, profit taking from uh, overbought territory. Uh, on the third, we have a decline in the midst of some erratic behavior back and forth through the same price level. Um, there's both a crest re revisited that was recently a past opportunity, and then there's also a decline in, in the midst of this um, that offers an opportunity to open up a long position. And for long positions, anything prior to like the 9th or the 11th, I'm going to be looking for, um, to open a long positions and sell them on the 11th. Um, so... On the fourth, we likely um, have a bit of a rally here, and then we we end the rally. There's volatility that increases in momentum, or excuse me, increases in volatility throughout the day on the fifth, um, and also a decline to a month's low, or a very important trough here on the fifth, um, offers an opportunity to open up a long position. Um, on the sixth, we have a fast sudden move higher. Um, and again, uh, uh, that's coming out of an, uh, a decline that offered an opportunity to open up a long position. That fast sudden move higher, that must be a notable move because then we have an important crest or, or high here for the month on the 7th. In the midst of some volatility, there's a fast sudden move higher marking the end of that volatility and that would be, take us to the crest or uh, to a crest on the 7th. <coughs> on the 8th, um, Congress may be highlighted, either that or there's like a, uh, a move higher followed by a full retracement. Looks like there's a there's a, a trade opportunity right around the end of the day on the eighth, um, and also appears to be a fake out of some kind on the eighth, uh, like an intentional fake out or shake out of some kind. And then on the ninth we have a higher high, but from that higher high we fall significantly through uh, multiple support levels and we reach uh, another important trough or low um, that takes place on the ninth and the tenth. Um, on the 10th, we do sideways fluctuations with a bullish trend preceding a decline, and we reach another high, probably the highest high um, for the month um, 
here on uh, on the 11th, and there's a notable decline on one month chart. It'll stand out from from that high on the 11th. Looks like that's most likely right there at the end of the day on the 10th or early on the 11th would be the uh, good opportunity on a short-term swing trade to, to close the long position. If you're looking for long-term, long-term, just buy on dips. That's what I'll be doing. Um, on the 12th, we have, even in the face of seemingly overwhelming headwinds, we move higher. Uh, on the 13th, we have out of a decline. So somewhere between the 12th and the 13th, there's a little bit of a decline. And then we turn around and we go all the way from the bottom of the range to the top of the range. To, to the top of a range. Um, on the 14th, another important low or trough for the month. Um, and there's an important price level that's highlighted. Also a decline here between like the 13th and 14th, offering another opportunity to open up a long position. Um, there's a trade opportunity on the 15th, a swing trade opportunity involving a fake out or shake out. Um, on the 16th, we have side, uh, we have bullish price swings. 17th, we have a critical price level that's highlighted. On the 18th, um, a decline that offers an opportunity to open up a long position. And um, in the midst of that decline, there's a decline through a support, meet a secondary support. We move around, we bump around sideways along that support, and then we break down through multiple supports. Um, on the 19th, there's an important resistance level that's highlighted and quite a bit of volatility. Um, there's also, and we may revisit, we may revisit the the same price levels as like the ninth and the and the eleventh on uh, and a crest there midday. Like there's a resistance that's met on the nineteenth, and then we fall pretty hard on the twentieth, uh, the twenty first. Um, in the midst of a little bit of a, a overbought crest, I'm advised to open up some protection if that's possible with ADA. If it is, guys, let me know. I'd love to know how to do, how to short ADA, um, just so I know how. Um, and then uh, towards the low, towards the end of the day, there's a low or an important trough, I should say, for the month and uh, quite a bit of deception. There's an important moment here. Uh, on the 22nd, there's a decline that, uh, well, we failed. there's a failed attempt to break through key resistance on a one month chart and then a decline through key support on a one month chart. Uh, volatility that increases with momentum as you move forward in time on the 23rd. It looks like a big price move between the 22nd and 23rd, a big price move to the upside. Three failed attempts to break through a key resistance level on the 24th, followed by a sharp decline there after that third poke through the resistance. And that decline um, in, goes into the 25th where we have a uh, important trough or uh, a significant trough or important low again on the 25th. Kind of like a, a like a, a dip in the midst of some like minor crests, um, and this decline here uh, straight through the 26th uh, offers an opportunity to open up a long position again. Um, de uh, on the 27th, there's a breakout. Oh, there, excuse me, there's a trade opportunity on the 23rd um, at a crest or high in the midst of a big move higher, um, and there's a fake out there uh, as well. On the 23rd, that's involved in the in the trade. Um, if you can short it, then if you can short ADA, then what I'd likely do is is short it into the 26th, uh, close that short position on the 26th. There's a breakout on the 27th, possibly another high or crest, important crest for the month. Um, on the 29th, uh, 28th, 29th. On the 28th, we have uh, bearish price swings with a notable decline and uh, dip in the midst of that. On the 29th, we have a decline from a crest, an important crest or high, um, and, a, and a breakdown to a, to a new support level. Um, looks like there may be a, an important trough on the 30th, and we have a big move to the upside on the 30th out of that important trough. Um, Unicursal there on the 31st, so it looks like probably there's, an op there's gonna be a sharp decline somewhere in the midst of um, November. I mean, uh, um, there's temptation on the 29th near the crest or high. Um, there's temptation to do the wrong thing. So I, I'm, I'm advising myself to be cautious there. All right, guys, I know uh, there's 
there's a lot of information there. Um, it's it's really unclear to me as to exactly where the highs and lows are going to be. But like I said, um, there's some some really um, likely places, and I pointed those out. So hopefully that helps. It is your Mercury retrograde, so it gets a little difficult to do these readings during retrograde. Things become more convoluted, and I don't want to steer you wrong. Um, that's ADA Cardano for October 2022. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button, guys. You can support the channel by trading your Cardano uh, through Simple Swap in the referral in the referral link. Or the affiliate link that we have in the description simple swap super easy to use and you can trade you can move all coins like switch all coins and without going like through bitcoin all that stuff it's pretty easy to use and uh, it supports the channel so much appreciated for you those of you that choose to do that um and don't forget that rule of karma guys if you don't know the rule of karma check out the video on youtube um it's super important that you follow that if you're going to utilize this information um with that said guys i'll see you on the next one